Rockart Festival und los geht's. So, <laughs> uh, Super Drew exists schon, uh, exists already for so long. Mm -hmm. Don't you think sometimes um, the people may like get sick of you? That's a pretty great tired. question. <laughs> sick of us or tired? Uh, you know what, there's there's always going to be people that get tired or sick of you, no matter what. I think in, in any genre of music, maybe, you never really know. But I think the reason you, you do music, or at least I think artists like to perform music, is because they like to perform. They like to be on stage, and they have this communication with an audience. So as many people that are getting sick of you, there's also people who've never heard of you. Um, and it's always great to see those people at shows, you know, new fresh people, new fans, and, uh, you know, it's really a challenge, you know, to be playing for so long and to be in communication together with each other and with the audience, but I, th I think it's great, you know, I, I think, you know, the variety of what people's opinions is what makes it so exciting, you never know what to expect. Yeah, and do you also aim to younger audiences? I think it's good, you know, you learn a lot from uh, young people. I used to be young myself, you know, I, I, I have a young boy. And uh, I think it's great to have that influence in, you know, in your music. It has a lot of energy and a lot of power, and um, I think you can learn a lot from that. Yeah, are you working already on the new one, or is it still too early? It's still a little early, but we're working on ideas right now for the new album and talking a lot about it. Usually when we're going to writing a new album, we communicate with each other a lot very deeply on what it is that we're going to focus on on the next album. So we've started that very beginning process. Okay. This record, Kairos, it uh, sounds a lot like the old stuff. <laughs> Was it a purpose? Did you want to go back to the roots? No, no absolutely, absolutely not. I think there's going to be always influences from the old style just because uh, you know Paulo and Andreas were, were part of that old time period and, and uh, I think there's always going to have that influence in the music. Um, I think the idea was actually to do a straightforward album and not a concept album, which we'd normally had done in the past. Um, I think the whole concept of us was ourselves. <laughs> it was pretty much writing an album about the history of Sepultura and, and how certain things evolved. So there was a lot of those influences that were there, but uh, I don't think they were primarily intentional. Okay. Tell us about your songwriting process. What is it like for uh, someone that um, always plans the, the whole composition or does I think it's a mix, you know, of, of everyone's influence. But it primarily starts with Andreas and I, a guitarist, and um, usually starts with, like I was saying before, something to focus on. Um, it usually helps because you can go so many different places with the music. And I, I think it helps when you have a focal point of where you're going to go. And usually, uh, for us, it works better that way. And we start with riffs and, and being in the studio and hanging out and just relaxing. And if something good comes about, then uh, we, we just pretty much record everything. And if there's something good that comes out of those recordings, then we, we keep it and we add on to it. And, and then the lyrics will flow after that. And, um, you know, it's just kind of a building process in that way that we work. Good. You were just talking about your concept albums. Mm -hmm. Alex and mm -hmm. uh, Dante 21, mm -hmm. and also the workings on the Clockwork Orange mm -hmm. related film. Are you planning to do something else um, like that? I don't think so. I mean, we've done it, um, you know, so many other times. I think it's, some, it's time to do something a little different. I think the idea of the next album is to be extremely straightforward and in your face in a way. So. I don't, I don't. I don't believe we will we'll do another concept album for the next album. Okay. But in the far future, maybe is there something Possibly. you would want to add sound to? Yeah, I mean, there's always something crazy and interesting to to do. Um, I like doing concept albums. I think it brings out many things that you never imagine. Um, at the top of my head, there's nothing I can think of that I would want to do as far as a concept album right now, but. Um, you know, I'd like to do something different that we've never done, maybe on an artist, an artist's work. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, as far as like maybe a painter or a famous artist or something like that would be interesting. So in 
2014 <laughs> is the next fo football world well, bleh, football world cup in Brazil. Are you a football fan? Yes, I like football. I'm not a fanatical fan or a hooligan, but I, I like football. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Which teams do you support? I have one team that I support. It's called Palmeiras, and it's from Sao Paulo. It's the actually right now the champion of the Brazilian of the country of Brazil right now. Yeah. They are the champions, the champions so right you're now. Happy about that. I'm extremely happy. <laughs> they just won literally last night. So great. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> so we wish you a lot of fun <laughs> in the still sunny rock hearts and thank you. Well, Would thank you, you like for to having say me. Something else? Yes, definitely come to see Sepultura play. We are doing incredibly crazy, heavy, insane music for heavy metal freaks.